I started my blog, it was with a simple idea. Travel the world searching for people whose style define who we are today. My name is Scott Schumann, and I am the Sartorialist. Real style can be very subtle, like a whisper. People don't always have to yell to be heard. Someone can look great and have the most incredible right off the runway dress, but if they don't have the grace and mystery and desire, it's not gonna make a great photograph. The image of Julie offered in one photograph an image that to me had layers of depth. What'd you think when the first time that I took your picture. It's interesting when you shoot me because you pull a quietude out of me that um, that seems more uh, true to who I am as opposed to my shyness. It's just, you know, one of those moments, those quiet moments where you just pause and take a photo and it just so happened to have something special in there. The photograph became more beautiful to me the more I got to know Julie and the more I got to know who she is as a person. And it's the fact that she is so real, and I think it's the sincerity that you see in the photographs. Yeah. That's really cute. You know, I thought it was going to be way, 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 way too big. It's close enough in the yeah, shoulder. Yeah, a little bit big, that's OK. Yeah. You know, that, that that's, would probably look great right. on me. Can I try it on? <laughs> I like your pop collar. For me, a photograph is the experience of taking the photograph and the interaction with the person. It's beyond the clothing. It's beyond physical beauty. I think they make you want to learn more about who that person is. I met Niyama, and she just looked like a dream out of a different period. I just asked, like I do sometimes, you know, where's the dress from, where's the coat from? I could tell they were vintage pieces. And I wasn't expecting to hear her say that they had all come from members of her family, mainly from her grandma. This was my grandmother's. Uh, that's adorable. Wrong. This is her, and this is her. We're no sisters. This is a perfume that came from her apartment. She's trying to, all these pieces are hers. You grew up watching your grandma go to church. Mm -hmm. How did that uh, influence you? It just inspired me to put more effort into my, my attire, getting dressed. Just seeing her apply makeup, suck my accessories. Mm -hmm. As a child, I didn't know what church really was. Uh -huh. I just know she was getting ready to go to church. Uh huh. And so what did you imagine it must be? <laughs> a place that people would like, People would just get dressed up and go, like beautiful people were just yeah, going. Yeah, like almost like a nightclub. <laughs> yeah. You can't fake a natural gracefulness. And with her, it's in the calmness of her face. It's in how relaxed her eyes are. But to me, her entire beauty and gracefulness is captured in, in the calmness of her hands. When I started thinking about doing the second book, of course, the very first thing you think of is, what's the cover going to be? And by this time, blogs had been around long enough, and the first thought, obviously, would be to put somebody known. For me, that just didn't seem right. The more I thought about what I wanted the cover to say, the more obvious it became that that photograph of Niyama would be the perfect one. It seemed like a perfect door to kind of open people up into the world of what that second book was going to be. For me, I found a camera is a, it's a device to let people share who they are with you. With both Niyama and, and Julie, having been the cover girls of, the, of my books, they've become friends, and I see them quite a bit. I'm always curious about their wearing, and I often shoot them when I see them. They have such a chameleon-like character that I never know what Julie I'm going to meet in any particular day. I never know what Niyama I'm going to meet. What I find interesting about the burlesque scene is how curvier women, who would not necessarily be celebrated for their beauty or their body type in mainstream society, are completely celebrated and put on a pedestal in that society. 